everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a try on haul. I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time and I thought it would be interesting to actually first buy some new clothes because I need some new clothes to do a try on haul for you guys. But not only do that, but let you guys pick out what I buy for myself. I recently went on Instagram and I posted a couple of photos of some items that I really liked on Princess Polly. And I let you decide on those items which ones I should grab. So out of those items, I picked up five of your top ones that you liked and I ordered them. And they're finally here. So this is my big parcel from Princess Polly. I'm so happy it finally got here. It was actually only in transit for two days. So super keen about getting some stuff from Princess Polly within three days of ordering it. So we're going to open this and I guess we're going to have a look and see what you guys chose for me. Rip it open. Because mommy's strong, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Are you listening to your music? Yeah. Oh, look at all those clothes. Yeah. Oi, Baba. I don't want to rip them. I don't want to take them all out. Okay, we're, we're, just, we're just taking them all out. As you can see by the colouring of all of these things, I went very neutral and I actually didn't plan that, but it happened. So I've got five items here. I've got two bottoms, one dress and two Tops. I'm actually glad it worked out that way. It did not plan to work out that way. But I'm so glad you guys actually made it work out that way. That way I actually have three whole outfits that I bought. I think I'm going to start off with the dress. I got the Avery Ruffle Mini Dress and it was for $60. I actually did use a 20% discount code so I didn't pay $60. So I got a size 12 in this. It looks rather short maybe that's because the <laughs> straps are to the tightest they possibly can it looks rather short and i'm not a short dress kind of girl so this is what the dress looks like i'm kind of conflicted on this dress like i really like it i think it would personally look a lot nicer if I had a tan and I didn't look so pale. I also feel like this dress would look really nice and really like edgy if I had a tee underneath it, like a grey one or maybe like a coloured like like a yellow or a mustard or something. But I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted. I don't like how it's making me look like super wide. Like so yeah, I like the length of it, these Little frills are really nice. I feel like I probably went up a size too big. I probably definitely could have gotten away with a 10, but I was scared of getting a 10 because of the length. And yes, I'm short. I'm only 5'1", but I still don't like dresses that are like cutting it short. So I didn't mention that this doesn't come with a zip so you just pull it over your head which I didn't have an issue with but someone who's probably a little bit more top heavy than what I am may have an issue with no zip because you have to pull it over your head. Next outfit I'm going to pair the Lane Maxi skirt. Let's get that off it. In yellow I got this for $65. That's without the discount, so I'm just going to say the prices that they were, but obviously I got 20% off. And I'm going to be pairing it with this top. It's definitely not going to go with it because they are very conflicting colours to each other, but we're just going to pair it with each other. And this is the Crown of Saints top, and this is in the beige, and this was $60. So for my next outfit, I'm going to pair the Lane Maxi skirt get that off it in yellow I got this for $65 and I'm going to be pairing it with this top it's definitely not going to go with it because they are very conflicting colors to each other but we're just going to pair it with each other and this is the crown of saints top and this is in the beige and this was $60 oh this skirt feels so nice please fit please fit Oh my god. Oh no. Me bum. Oh no. Okay. So, 
Please do not mind the clash of the colours because they are very two different colours that probably should not be paired together. Personally, if I was going to wear this skirt, I would probably pair it with a white, like, crop top. Um, but yeah. So, this is outfit number two. Really digging this shirt. I love how flowy it is. I love how light it is. How free it is. I actually really like the colour, which I didn't think I was going to like because it's brown it's a beigey color but i really like it it obviously needs a really good iron but i actually really like it it would look cute in jeans or whatever like tucked in i think it's just really cute i also think this would be really cute in like an office kind of vibey style but the big but the skirt i don't know how i feel about this skirt um, I wasn't envisioning it to be a linen because it is a linen type material. I wonder if it says on the tag what it is. I can't see the tag because it's near my ass. So we're just going to go and think it's a linen. I do like it, but I also don't like it. It's probably just because there is days where I don't like showing my mum Tom and today's probably one of those days and it's there it's just saying hello and you know some people can talk about mum tums and also think that they're pregnancy tums and this is definitely not one it's just my mum tum that's just stuck around for three years um yeah i don't know i would have to wear this on a really good day where i'm feeling really good i like it it's tight around my thighs which suck but my thighs are large and it is tight around my bum. I think it does also give me a long bum, which no one likes the long bum. No one likes a flat long bum. And I have a feeling this has given me a long flat bum. So yeah, I like it, but I also don't like it. So yeah, once again, I'm conflicted. But also before I get out of these clothes, this top is a size 12. So I definitely could go, could have gone a size 10, definitely. Um, but I kind of like uh, things I've oversized on the top just because that's how I do things. And the skirt is a, it's a size 12. So I probably could have gone a 14 and I would have felt a lot more comfortable in a 14. But I thought a 12 would have been fine. But apparently not. Next two items that I'm going to try on are the Remy. The Rummy pants, and they were $75. I don't think I've actually spent $75 on a pair of pants in a long time. I'm just not someone that likes to spend that much money on clothing. And $75 for a pair of pants that may or may not fit is kind of risky for me. So, I hope they fit. And I'm pairing them with the Summer Sandband Top in Beige. And this was a bargain of $45. Compared to everything else that I bought, that was a bug. Let's go try these on and fingers crossed they fit and they make me feel fabulous. Please fit for me because you were a fortune and um, I don't really want to return you because oh my god they feel amazing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why? Are you serious? So this is outfit number three. I feel like my exposure needs to go down because of these pants just because they are a light color but let's just talk about these pants i'm so in love with them oh my god they feel so good i'm actually so pleased that they feel so good and they look amazing i'm actually thrilled with how they look i probably would have rolled them up just a tad more just because they you know they're hitting my ankles but i don't know i feel like they could just be a tad shorter just because you know i am five one so you know short things just hit me literally at the ankle where long pants are meant to hit me so i probably would I probably would just roll them up one more but they do look good so I actually did get these pants in a size 14 I'm so glad I did because we all know how some pants can be conflicting in sizes and just not fit you so because I've got wider hips 
and thicker thighs I went for the size up usually I only stick to a size 12 because I am very afraid of the number 14 in the dress size I'm like no way am I a 14 I'm never gonna wear a 14 and to be honest even throughout my pregnancy I was a size 14 and I just didn't wear them because I was so terrified of fitting in a size 14 and you know what these days I'm like hell to the no I do not care if they're gonna make me feel so much better than trying to squeeze into a size 12 just because it's a size 12 and knowing that my body sometimes can't fit in that size 12 I'm just gonna get a size 14 and not give a crap so these pants do come with a jawstring a jawstring is that what they're called a drawstring that sounds really wrong to me but I think that's what they're called um, so you can snatch in your waist as much as you want it does come with pockets and the back pockets are completely closed over so they're fake which I don't mind on the other hand this top like I've been saying throughout this video I'm conflicted on this top I feel like if I went a size down which I bought the size 12 it would feel a lot nicer but I was nervous because Sometimes they will say a size is oversized, but it's not. And this is clearly oversized. So I definitely could have gone a size down and I wish I had now because I think this would look a, not, a lot nicer if it was sized down. But I can work with this. Like I can, you know, just tie a knot at the front. Like, it's so easily to work with this top. I can tuck it in if I wanted, you know, I can, I can work with this. Those are all the pieces that you guys decided you wanted me to buy. I'm actually so thrilled with all of the pieces that I got. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of my Instagram followers who helped me pick out these five pieces. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what you guys picked out for me to buy from Princess Polly. If you want to see more of these videos, definitely let me know in the comments or like this video. And I guess I'll see you guys all in a couple of days. Bye! Mommy. Do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye!